building in itself is a great confluence of art and science and technology. It's one of the things that really appeals to me about being in the brewing business. Smutty Nose began in a backwards way, I guess I have to say, at a bankruptcy auction. We had a lot of catching up to do because here we had a building full of equipment, uh, but we didn't have a plan, we didn't have any brand identity, we didn't even have the name of the company at the time. We spent almost our first 20 years in our old brewery, which was a, a nondescript cinder block butler building in an industrial area on the edge of Portsmouth. In our minds, we were always trying to push sustainability measures, green measures, but there was just so little we could do. We weren't going to be able to rebuild that building. We weren't going to be able to invest a lot in upgraded equipment there. So until this facility opened, it always seemed like it was a lot of words and not necessarily a lot of action. Through all the meetings that we had in advance of the actual groundbreaking, we reviewed all of the eligibility requirements for the energy efficiency programs, and they really did their homework. They had their plans all laid out. Working with Tim and Unitil was a, was a fantastic learning experience for me. I knew bits and pieces about this project, and I knew that there were a lot of new technologies and pieces of equipment. And I assumed it would be all this really arcane, kind of futuristic Star Trek kind of technology that would make things work. I had a couple of moments where I thought, oh God, I've, I've got a BA in English. How am I going to learn all this crazy science stuff? And really quickly, I figured out from talking with Tim that a lot of these technologies and machines actually work on really simple principles. registered to achieve LEED certification on this building. It's a really important part of what we're trying to accomplish here. LEED certified means leadership in energy efficient design and it's an international process. It has a point system in place that you use to identify different measures that you're taking to minimize the environmental footprint of the construction project and the building itself in the long term but we went several measures beyond what was required as part of that process and looked for opportunities to both save on uh, fossil fuel consumption as well as electrical power. The measures that we've embarked upon are air compressing, waste heat recovery chillers, lighting. Every single aspect of this plant has been built with energy efficiency in mind and I think it's really a blueprint of what breweries should be. Saving energy and saving water and reducing waste, the solutions aren't complicated. In fact, when we explain it to people on tours, they're kind of amazed at how simple these things are. That was probably the best education for what I do, was learning that it's not hard, it's not complicated. You just have to decide that you want to do it, and, and if you have good partners to work with, they'll make it even easier for you to understand it and see the value in doing it. The thing that has fundamentally propelled the craft beer industry is a growing awareness among consumers of matters of authenticity, of quality, of commitment to community. There's always more beer to brew and new styles to try and new challenges. You know, a growing business is always fun to be part of. It's a fantastic facility and I think we all love being here. Smutty Nose Brewing will continue, and it will continue, I believe, as a real solid and important member of the, the business and the cultural and the, the social community that it inhabits. They never stop improving. Even with the level that they've achieved here, they're continuing forward, and, and I'm quite confident they will never stop improving. <laughs>